Hello everyone, this is Mahi Sanghvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos tutorial video and in this video we will learn about IBM Cognos architecture. For this video we are going to refer this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. In this video we will learn about IBM Cognos architecture and how it works. For this first we are going to check the IBM Cognos architecture diagram. This is a very simple IBM Cognos architecture diagram. In this we have three different tiers. The first one is the web server. Web server is responsible for generating the web UI. Next we have application server. Application server is for processing the end user request. And finally is database server. Database server is used for storing the data. On database server you can find the content store. Content store is used for storing the IBM Cognos services related data. And you can also find other database for storing business related data or data for reporting. All the servers are separated via firewall or you can say all the servers have their own network firewalls. For proper communication between all the servers we need to create the appropriate rules. For example if you want to allow an end user to access IBM Cognos web server then we need to allow TCP on port 80. I'm assuming web server is using port 80. If you want to learn more about network firewall rules, how to install IBM Cognos and configuration, then you need to check IBM Cognos administration course. This video is only for IBM Cognos architecture. So we are only going to focus on IBM Cognos architecture. Next, we are going to discuss how this different servers are interact with each other to complete a request for personal group or online training contact us. Our end users use desktop application or browser based tools for accessing the IBM Cognos services. Okay. In desktop application we have framework manager, transformer, map manager, Cognos BI for office or other tools. In browser tools we have Cognos connection, report studio, analyst studio, query studio or event studio. For browser based tools we must need to use the supported browser. Previously IBM only support the Internet Explorer. Now you can use any other browser. I normally use Internet Explorer and Chrome for accessing the web server. I never tested Safari, Opera and Firefox. I'm going to recommend it only use Internet Explorer or Chrome. For testing you may use Firefox, Opera and Safari. Now let's discuss about the end user. The end user is maybe a business user. Bus business user is only interested in facts, figures and reports. The next user is developer. Developer is responsible for creating the facts, figures and reports. So which tools are required for business user or which set of tools required for developer. For developer we may need to provide access on all the tools. For business user we only need to provide access on IBM Cognos connection. Using IBM Cognos connection a business user can access the reports or execute the report. In case of developer we may need to install framework manager, transformer and we need to allow access on report studio, analysis studio, query studio and event studio. This is based on the scenarios. Now let's assume we only need to use relational database. Then on developer machine we need to install framework manager, we need to configure the framework manager, we need to allow access on report studio. Using framework manager and report studio a developer can create the appropriate reports. Let's assume we need to use cubes. Then for the cube processing we need to install transformer on developer machine and we also need to provide access on analysis studio. All tools access is based on the scenarios. All the tools required a working web server, application server and database server. Without proper working web server, application server and database server you are not able to use any of these tools. Okay. If web server is not working then definitely you are not able to access browser based tools. Why? Because because the UI for browser based tools is generated by web servers. Okay. And again web server required application server, application server required database server. In case of windows based tool we have an exception. We can 
open the project available on our local system we can open the project but we cannot edit it we cannot publish the project on ibm commons connection we can use the project only for the documentation purpose to explain this let me open framework manager configuration to use framework manager we must need to provide a valid gateway uri and dispatcher uri if our web server and application server is not running then on creating a new project you are going to encounter this error message this is the error message when web server is not working and this is the error message when your application server is not working so that's why if you are using any of this tool you must require a working web server application server and database server now let's see how this three different servers interact with each other for completing a login request to perform a login we need to access web server web server will generate a login page on login page we need to provide an username password and then we need to click on submit button on click of submit button all this information is sent to web server for further processing on web server web server is going to first retrieve all the information in case of login web server is going to encrypt the password finally web server is going to add namespace and other environment variables finally web server is going to consolidate all this information and forward this request to application server on application server application server is going to process this information on application server for different types of request we have different services Following are the different services for IBM Cognos Analytics. Application server handles all types of requests. For example, let's say we want to run a report, we need to run the queries, we need to schedule the reports. All this request, all this thing handles by the application server. On application server, we can find the dispatcher. Now, what is dispatcher? Dispatcher is a service or a program to handle different IBM Cognos services. So let me go back on the previous slide. So this is all the available service. Okay. So dispatcher is responsible for starting all these services. Dispatcher is also responsible for communicating among all the services. Dispatcher also routes the appropriate request to the appropriate service. So for example, if I want to run the report, then dispatcher, dispatcher is going to forward this request to the report services. So this is the report services. The same way, if I want to run a query, then dispatcher is going to route this request to the query services. Okay. Also for all the services, dispatcher is responsible for getting the response and sending back on the web server. So dispatcher dispatcher is responsible for starting all the services, communicating among all the services, routes the request to the appropriate services. Okay. Now it is only also used for load balancing for this. Let's assume our application server is again divided in multiple servers. Okay. So right now on IBM Cognos architecture diagram, you are only able to see uh, the three layers. Okay let's assume our application server is subdivided on one server we have reporting services and another server we have transformer or cube services then if we want to run a report then dispatcher is going to route the request on server one for report execution similarly for the cube execution dispatcher is going to redirect or route the request on the server two for queue processing. So this is the responsibility for dispatcher. Next on the application server, you can also find the content manager. Now what is content manager? As I mentioned previously, we have a content store database. This content store is a database. In the content store, we have all the IBM Cognos services or IBM Cognos related data. Okay, the content manager is handle the request between content store database and the different services. Okay. So let's say if I want to authenticate an user, the user information, username and password is available in the content store. Then content manager is going to fetch the, fetch the data for the validation. So user related information, authentication and other 
configuration data such as you configured something you selected any language preference you change the theme all this information is also available in content store model packages cubes reports report output etc so after successful login we need to fetch the data for the home page okay on home page we need to display folders upload framework manager models reports all this information is available in content store so content manager is responsible for getting the data so this is the dis roles and responsibility for content manager so content manager is a service so let me switch back to my previous slide and here you can find the content manager service and content manager cache service another thing with content manager is we can install content manager on multiple servers okay what is the benefit to install content manager on multiple server let's assume we have two server server 1 and server 2 content manager is installed on both the servers okay and let's say due to some reason server 1 is down then dispatcher is going to use content manager install on the server 2 for the further request okay so it is a way to avoid any downtime or it is used for disaster recovery okay if you are going to install multiple content manager then only the first one is the active and the second one is going to be on standby mode okay the second one is only going to be active when the first one goes down so this is about content manager let's assume for authentication we have an authentication services application server is going to forward this request to authentication services authentication services is going to process this request authentication server is going to validate the username and password and it is going to generate a response let's assume authentication services generate a positive response in case of positive response we need to display home page for this application server is going to first query the database server for retrieve the home page information normally on home page you can find folders published fm package and reports finally the application server is going to consolidate the response from the authentication service and the database server and send back response to web server in case of valid username and password web server is going to generate the home page based on the available folders published fm package and reports if the username and password is incorrect then web server is again going to render the login page this is how web server application server and database server interact with each other to complete a login request this is all about ibm cognos architecture before closing this video i need to share information on types of web server and types of gateway okay ibm cognos supports IIS, Apache and Tomcat. IIS, Apache and Tomcat are web servers. IBM Cognos provide four types of gateway. CGI, ICPI, Apache mod and serverlet. Based on the web server, we need to use the appropriate gateway. For example, for IIS, we use ICPI gateway. We can also use CGI, but normally we used ICPI. Okay, for IIS, ICPI is the recommended. For Apache, we can use CGI or Apache mod. And in case of Java, we need to use Servlet. So this is all about IBM Cognos architecture. Some important URLs.